Morning everyone, it's Paul here. I'm part of the team at Audacious and this is one of our daily devotions. Today's verses are from 1 Samuel chapter 22 and I'm going to read verse 1 to 5 and I want to speak to you about the subject of offence. It says this in verse 1, David left Gath and escaped to the cave of Adullam. When his brothers and his father's household heard about it, they went down to him there. And all those who were in distress or in debt or discontented gathered around him and he became their commander. About 400 men were with him. And from there, David went to Mizpah in Moab and he said to the king of Moab, Would you let my father and mother come and stay with you until I learn what God will do with me? So he left them with the king of Moab and he stayed and they stayed with him as long as David was in the stronghold. But the prophet Gad said to David, do not stay in the stronghold, go into the land of Judah. So David left and went to the forest of Hereth. So in this devotion, I want to speak to you about offence. And we're looking specifically at verse 5, where the prophet says to David, the future king, he says, do not stay in the stronghold, go to the land of Judah. Now, in the opening verses of this chapter that I read, you can see that David is not in a good place physically, emotionally. He's running for his life. He's, um, he's on the run from King Saul, who's trying to kill him. And he ends up in a cave, a dark place, possibly feeling alone, helpless and offended. I've got in my mind the picture of a man spending time going over how unfair everything was and how he'd been mistreated and the injustice that had happened to him. Now, this cave is called Adullam, which means justice for the people. And that itself can be a catchphrase for a victim mentality. But he had chosen to stay in a place where he was only ever supposed to visit. This can often be the case with us when we're offended. We can't help how we feel, but to dwell on it and remain in that place is dangerous because it kills momentum. It strangles progress and it shrinks your faith. The enemy knows that. And so he'll do all that he can to keep you in that cave. It wasn't too long before loads more people who were feeling the same way in their own lives were drawn to David in his cave. And the Bible says that he became their commander or their leader. When you're offended, it's easy to find people who are also offended. And if we're not careful, we become a leader, but for the wrong cause. Ultimately, the Bible says that it became a stronghold and there was only one way out for David. And that was to go to a place called Judah. Now, Judah means praise and it is the best place to go when you're offended. Praise changes your perspective. It lifts your faith and it's really there in his presence where God will restore to you everything that offence has stolen. If you're going to lead people anywhere in life, praise is the best place to go. If you're offended today by a person, if you're disappointed by your circumstances or you're maybe even just fearful of the future, don't go into the cave of victimhood, but instead choose gratitude. Don't lead the chorus of justice for the people, but lead the chorus of praise for God. This place of praise is where you can rally people around a cause worth getting out of bed for, which is the purpose and the call and the kingdom of God. That's what I want you to remember today. I want to pray for you that wherever you are, that if you're in a bad place, that you will lead people out of there instead of setting up camp there. And you will do that by choosing to switch on your praise, get out of the cave and into the praise. Let's pray. Father, for everyone who's part of this little moment, this devotion right now, I'm praying that they will make a choice to get out of the cave of victimhood, out of the cave of um, injustice, out of the cave of feeling low or alone, and actually um, rally people around praise and gratitude and into your presence. Thank you for the power of praise. Thank you for what you've done in our lives. Thank you for the people that you've put in our lives. Thank you for the provision and your track record of breakthrough in our lives. We love you and we're going to choose not to remain where we should have only visited, but to keep moving out of the cave and into a place called praise. Thank you for everything you're doing in Jesus' name. 
Amen. All right, guys, have a fab day. That's my five minutes. Love you all. Praying for you always. See you soon.